I'd like a friend jury members to step inside the courtroom. When the judge enters, I will announce from outside the courtroom, I'm here on a Dubaniac appearance. May I enter as a Dubaniac appearance? Okay. If they close the courtroom door, I want one of you to open the door so that I'm in the absence of the justice here. If the justice doesn't invite me in under Dubaniac, that's the end. We go. They do their thing. And on the 16th, if they do decide to strike the case, then we issue a grand jury indictment. Yeah. Who's the justice today? Not sure. You're not sure? Okay. Well, we need to get the justice's name, so by all means enter. You might have to well, yell through the barrier. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here, but I'm not here. If the judge rejects that, then that's it. Because a grand jury already gave notice that this whole process is an obstruction of justice. So I'm not going to participate in that. Right? And that's it. If the judge does allow my entrance, de bene es, then what does that I, mean? De, 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 um, it's for sorry, the benefit no. of eating. In Latin. So bene is benefit, s is eat. So my appearance is not as a subject of the court, it's for the court's benefit. It's an ec I, I'm making an extrajudicial Welcome entrance to into the courtroom. Please bene S. De bene S. De bene S. Can right. I find that somewhere online and have people yeah, experimented yeah. with what you're doing right now? Or are you establishing yeah, yeah. precedent right now? Yeah. So then, if I'm allowed entry de bene S after rejecting all court presumptions, then I'll ask the judge. Um, would the judge like to discuss in chambers, in private? Mm -hmm. and so, uh, let me explain. The, the point of chambers, chambre in French is bedroom. Mm -hmm. Masonic saying is what goes on in the bedroom stays in the bedroom. So anything we discuss in chambers is private. We can't speak about it publicly. But now that we're outside of chambers, I can tell you what I plan to say in chambers. Simply, has your honor read the binder? Because the binder states clearly, grand jury has noticed that the attorney general is committing an obstruction of justice. As the judge, you have a choice to be complicit in an obstruction of justice, right? If you judge in favor of the attorney general's office, or to be complicit with the grand jury notice convened under the Magna Carta, mm. right? Mm. So, which may violate your judicial oaths. Mm. Will the judge re-enter the courtroom? Okay, it's 10.03. If she says no, Are excuse me, sir. Yeah, it's 10.03, they're waiting for you. Excuse your me, sir. starts at 10. Are you coming in Excuse me, sir. I, I have to pass I have to. to the judge. No, no, you don't have to pass yeah, any do. message to the judge. Not? Once the judge has entered, I will make an announcement. In or not? I have answered your question. Okay, you're not coming in. I'll let the judge know. I reject your That's assumption. That's not the answer that he gave you, Sheriff. I will come in at the appropriate time upon permission of the judge. Sheriff? Who is that Sheriff? Nothing. Yeah, so they're trying to intimidate me already. So if the judge refuses to re-enter the courtroom, I will ask the judge hand me your rope because I am assuming your position since you will not re-enter the courtroom. And then I come in, I write down my judgment, hand it to the court clerk. When did the de Bene S uh, approach first come on your radar? And what was that? Uh, that was from Cal Washington. This was shortly after June 7th. I did a call with Cal Washington and um, yeah, cool. he said, you know what, that's right. A grand jury gave notice that this is an obstruction of justice. And because a grand jury, you cannot participate in the process unless you participate extrajudicially. And that way to do that is through a de bene s appearance. Oh, right? The only way to do that is yeah. to... Or which, I mean, which, which establishes you're there to, to, to participate as opposed to be under the jurisdiction of the court? No, 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 or, no. Or, I'm sorry. I'm, I am here for the benefit of the court, 
not as a subject of the court, because this process has already been noted to be an obstruction of justice. Understood. Mm -hmm. And judges will pretend to not have acquainted themselves for the sake of we'll see, we'll the see. assumptions and the imagination and not appreciating the absence of punctuation or the presence of punctuation, mm -hmm. depending on how it suits them, per your remarks the other day. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the judge to enter, mm. at which point I will make my statement. You know, I, have to wait for, I have to wait for the judge's permission. So, in case the sheriffs make a physical threat or motion to prevent my entry or speaking into the court from outside the courtroom, what I just explained to all of you, that I am here by special appearance, de bene s, for the court's benefit, not to be subject to the court, you can tell that to the judge. You can say, Your Honor, as a member of a grand jury that was convened on July 7th, Dr. Daniel Nagase would like to enter the courtroom de bene s. How do you spell that? D-E, de, bene is B-E-N-E, -E, s is E-S-S-E. -S -E. May he enter de bene s, just in case you know, they shut the doors and try to <coughs> do some kind of... Which uh, you can only activate subsequent to yeah. what's... So if I'm invited in de bene s, which is as a special appearance on my own terms, I mm -hmm. will enter, mm -hmm. right? That's... I see that. Right? Yeah. Because, so there's a hierarchy of wills. We're talking about the spirit of the law, right? So there's the letter of the law, there's the word of the law, and then there's the spirit of the law. Spirit of the law. Are spirits visible? No. But it's the ideas and principles upon which a system is built. I'm happy to do an interview after if you want. I'll explain all this. So, okay, is that the judge going in? Yes, we are already approved. I am present here by special appearance. Please make your image visible on the screen. I see three individuals standing in the public gallery. Is one of you Daniel Nagase? I'm not able to hear what's going on in the public gallery, but if Daniel Nagase is present and wishes to be heard on this application, you must come forward now. I am here by a special appearance, de bene s, for the court's benefit. May I enter de bene s? I'm not able to hear whatever is being said from the other side of this secure glass. Will a member of the gallery please communicate the so message I'll, I'll be I very have clear. Said. If no one comes into this courtroom representing Daniel Yoshio, I'm going to proceed here to determine Governor's application on an uncontested basis. I have stated clearly, De Bene S, that I am present by a special appearance for the court to proceed without allowing my entry, De Bene S is an obstruction of justice. Who is the judge? Sir, Mr. Kleisinger, if you could just, um, yeah. you step back uh, for a moment. No, I am here outside starting. the courtroom, and I am listening to the He's having trouble, trouble, trouble hearing him. If he steps farther back, you'll have even more difficulty hearing him. Sheriff, are you able to shed any light on this from the other side of this Is that class? a camera? Absolutely. Is it operating right no. now? Are you able to show me that it's not? 
You're going to have to check that in at the desk. Do you understand what I'm saying? How about I prove to you that it's off? Yeah. Please. There appears to be someone in the vicinity of this courtroom who claims to be Mr. Nagase but has refused to come into this courtroom so that he can be heard and enjoy the right of audience. Your Honor, that is incorrect. I have offered entry into the courtroom de bene S. If the judge is not accepting as an entry special appearance by myself, what your honor has just stated is factually incorrect. I have entered the courtroom. He's entered is under the judge duress. still deaf to this hearing? He's entered under duress. You're a plaintiff in the main action and you're what's called an application respondent to this action. If you want to participate as an application respondent, you are of course free to do so. The court will hear anything that you have to say, but that opportunity to be heard will come after I've heard all the submissions of counsel who is the applicant in this, on this application. And so if you want to be heard in any fashion, then I suggest you remain in the courtroom and then when it's the appropriate time, I'll call on you to be heard. But this notion of participating for certain purposes and making speeches and going in and out of the courtroom simply is not known in our court. You've got to make a decision whether you're going to participate or not. All right, so I invite you to have a seat at council table.